Hi everybody. Tonight we're at Disney Springs in Orlando and we are going to check out Gideon's Bakehouse, which just opened here at Disney Springs. This is going to be their flagship store. They do have another store downtown Orlando from what I understand and they're famous for their half pound cookies. So I'm excited to go check it out. Let's go inside. There is a little bit of a wait to get in, but maybe because it's a holiday, I'm not sure. But the wait was really quick and we got in within 15 minutes. This place on the inside is incredible. It looks like something out of Harry Potter. That's the only way I can really describe it, but it's full of Victorian curiosities, I guess you would say. But it's got like old books, artwork that's incredible. The cabinets look like they're almost falling down. There's fire and flames. Well, fake fire and flames, but still it's just super cool. While we were waiting in line, I took just a moment to look up the backstory of Gideon's Bakery on their website. Basically it said that the owner of the bake shop had purchased what he thought to be an antique cookbook that was dated 1898. There are lots of doodles and notes in the margins from what appeared to be a little boy whose name was written in the back of the book, Gideon. So he named the bakery Gideon's in his honor to fulfill his dream of becoming a baker. Pretty cool. Looks like there's a limit of six cookies per person per day, but I don't see how anyone can eat all that. Anyway, these cookies are huge. There's the original chocolate chip. The sachet chocolate toffee chip. Limited edition. Cookies are green. They also have slices of cake that the selections change daily. You can really smell the sugar in this place. I also noticed on the menu that they also serve nitro cold brew on tap, iced coffee, cold brew, and other beverages like cane sugar sodas, bottled water, Coca-Cola products, and of course, milk and chocolate milk. We also have these peanut butter crunch, triple chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and original again. Oh, okay. Just the one original. It's going to be 639, folks. this real quick this is something cool that I saw it's just their windows are pretty awesome they have the cookies and little cliches or whatever those things are called but it just looks like an old creepy library and then on this side even more display windows I don't know if you can see that but there's huge models of their cookies at the top there There are the cookies again in the cliches with the creepy books and creepy pages. Cool concept. I like it. So we just got one of the originals because it just smelled like sugar overload in there. And I already have a whole bag of sprinkles too, so I gotta take it easy. 
Wanna try? I guess what they're famous for, the original. And this is what it looks like. It looks really good. It's got a ton of chocolate in it. And we're gonna try it later, not tonight, but maybe tomorrow. Because, like I said, we've got sprinkles too, but man, it looks good. No way, I'm trying it right now. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, really cooking. Well, I gotta wait, but the verdict is that it's really good. <laughs> is it soft or hard? Or? Soft, very. Oh. Not the chocolate. Good, cause I like soft cookies personally. Dang, it looks good. All right, well, with that, we are out of here. But thanks again for watching my day off. And like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys real soon. <laughs>